seven three draw 16 split and that's at 10 yards on a uh, eight inch piece of steel <laughs> guys what's going on I'm out here training as usual uh, anytime I get the chance or the opportunity uh, I've had some requests to do a video on the scoop draw so typically I've done it when I first started I did it in USPSA for speed and it was cool um, the problem with it is I had to when I was practicing every day like I was just you know I was just hooked so I had the, the USPSA or the the fever you know that we all get when we first start so I was doing it every day so I was able to do the scoop consistently um, and do it well and I wasn't worried about it as time went on I didn't dry fire as much um, and I went to the snatch and I actually I think I have a video up on my channel somewhere um, where it's just a snatch where I'm coming over the back strap as fast as I can slightly going down to settle in uh, the webbing over the back strap and then picking the pistol up out of the holster. Um, so since then, I was knew I was going to nationals this year, which is already done and over. Uh, I I knew I was going to be putting in the reps, so I started to develop my scoop draw again, which is simply coming straight up under the gun, grabbing it with the fingers, and then bringing my thumb over and kind of forcing the webbing over the uh, beaver tail here. Uh, so I'm just going to do a quick video on how that works, and I'll show you. Right now I'm using my limit, my gray guns, 5-inch limited gun. This is also my duty gun, um, so I want to continue to get reps on my duty weapon as well. This is an, obviously a duty rig or a duty holster. This is my race holster, but I can't do it in my duty rig. I have to do a snatch draw in my duty rig because I have a level 3, um, so I have to disengage some safeties. This is only uh, race guns are pretty much the only way you can do a scoop draw so i'll do it and then i'll go over it all right so that's a scoop with uh yep got two alphas fortunate to do it first try that was cool all right so that was a 0 0.80 a 6.7 draw with a 13 split so and I'm only like I'm about seven there we go I'm about seven yards away so uh, yeah I got lucky doing it first try and uh, I won't have to edit to make it look cool so basically all I'm doing is however you're standing you get you get a good solid stance to where you're gonna present yourself to the first target and keep in mind in USPSA or any competition the scoop is only good if you've got a close first target, I mean, realistically, if it's a difficult target or a far target, the scoop isn't going to benefit you because you really, it's more important to have a solid grip so that you, your sights come up correctly and you have a good grip in your hand to transition and whatnot. So keep that in mind. The scoop is cool. It's good for speed. It's good for obviously open, close targets, but anything other than that, I don't see a benefit for it personally. But I did it just for nationals in case uh, I knew I was going to be consistent with it because I was going to put enough reps. So anyways, just keep that in mind. Uh, the snatch is, I think, more beneficial over the course of what, everything that we do and in everyday life. So, But the scoop, that's what we're here for. Basically, I position myself to a target, ideally, that is close, that I'm going to engage first. So once I have my stance, it's, uh, it's all about kind of, and I do this whether no matter what draw I'm doing, I, I put myself in the same spot as I can so I can have consistency. So for me, I index both arms, my left arm on the mags. I rest them on the mags at, inside uh, the forearm because that's gonna come to my chest and then my hands move at the same time. So we all know about the left hand, that's a normal draw. The uh, strong hand, the hand you're drawing with is gonna basically, I take a grip of my gun, I do this, I get a template with my hand of what that gun feels like it's it's the very last thing i feel before i go to a, my make ready and then i get the the beep to start um, and what i'm doing is once i get that template template in my hand or make a form or a mold in my hand of what that's supposed to feel like i'm going to drop it right down and i'll give you two ways i do it this way where i index it 
on the inside. I, I haven't changed anything from my scoop to my snatch inside of my uh, the back of the mag to the inside of my forearm on my right hand, on my strong hand. And I maintain the form in my hand. And all I do is simply, I know where this pistol is, so I'm gonna come straight up, let it ride the inside of your holster, right under the trigger guard. The fingers pick it up. As the fingers are picking it up, the thumb comes over and you, you basically come over right over the beaver tail and I force the webbing between my thumb and my pointer finger over that beaver tail so I have a tight grip. So I'm as high on the pistol as I can with my grip. The fingers are doing the lifting and they're pulling it, they're pulling it straight up. I'm hot, so I gotta be safe. I'm pulling it straight into the beaver tail, into the back of my palm. And it just simply comes straight up and in and, and I push forward, everything else is the same. So that's essentially it. The other option is guys tend to come straight down and they, they index on the bottom of their holster or right under their holster, but they do that so that they can come straight up. I like to come at it more of an angle like this because I'm coming out and towards the target and that's where I normally index if I'm doing a, a snatch draw coming over the top. So I haven't changed anything but I've done enough reps and I can only do this if I'm continuing to maintain my dry fire and do these reps to be consistent. Otherwise, it's not beneficial. If you're gonna throw your gun, it's not worth it, obviously. So you've gotta do these reps at home and dry fire. You gotta continually do this all the time so that you're consistent with it and it's actually beneficial to you. Yes, it'll reduce greatly your, your first shot, but you still have to see your sights. You still have to have time to acquire them. This will just get it to your eyes faster. So just keep that in mind. It's going to be great for Instagram, great for build drills. I wouldn't recommend it for everyday life, obviously not for duty use. And uh, overall, it's not going to be a huge benefit. It's going to get you that <laughs> half second, uh, quarter of a second on, that you need on those quick stages where you've got that target. You can get that shot off quicker. Absolutely. But again, make sure you're safe and you're doing these reps to maintain it if you're going to continue to or if you're going to attempt it and, and keep it. Definitely have a gun. A magwell helps. I typically don't have a magwell, so this helps because it borders the pinky. Um, so that's going to be beneficial too. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, I, I enjoy it. I recommend it if you are going to maintain it and do the reps that are required to be good at it. Um, other than that, it's... You know, yeah, you're losing some time off the draw, but that's only going to be like one stage. There's not too many stages where you're looking right at a five-yard target that you can uh, gain a half a second or a quarter second on most of the other guys. But it is nice when you can. So, anyways, that's all I got. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I appreciate it, and I will see you on the next one. All right, have a good one. Nine seven. That was a seven six. That was a good one. Seven five. Four.